Hi there. So today we're going to learn how to convert this Slides Mania template for a personal notebook into something that students can use and personalize just like a real one without the headache of having to purchase add-ons or how to assign it to them and turn it back in and all, all that mess. So what we're going to do is what, what, whether you have a Google slide or a PowerPoint, the feature is the same. You would go to file and in this case it would be um, export. And then you would save it as a PDF. The same thing for Google Slides. Uh, find the file and then go to uh, whatever their option is for PDFs. You save it. I already have it, so I'm just going to cancel that part. And once I'm done, um, I'm going to go to add the plus sign, create from file. And then I'm going to look for my copy, which says HyperDoc Slides Media. So once I do that, I click, make sure I have all the pages that I need. Just cancel. In this situation, I already created it, but you would have the option of making, adding, selecting the pages that you want or need. So I would press open. And it takes a while to convert, but basically what it's doing, it's making all those PDFs, and I mean all those slides or those PDFs into pictures. So it might take a while and you should have a one out of 25. If you press next, it's going to only take the first page. Make sure you press import all pages. And after that, you would wait again, of course, make sure that everything's to your liking. Okay, so now it's done loading. And then here I can delete the pages that I don't want or need. But for this purpose, I'm just going to leave everything here. And here are the images that it's converted. So I'm going to put finish. And of course, wait for it to load. All right, it's all loaded. And here I can see the slides. Um, that have been created. Now the great thing about this is I can always add and go back and change or I can uh, make any changes I need here on my um, on my PowerPoint or Google slide that I'm doing and then just re-upload the page, that one page to my assignment. Here I have the option of reordering them, copying, pasting, duplicating them, whatever I need to do. I even have the option of adding in another page and maybe I want, maybe if this is a math notebook, I can change my template, my background to grid paper that they have. Right here, I have notebook paper, I have a Venn diagram. You can upload additional PDFs. See, this with my students, we always do a lot of graphic organizers, so I can just upload any any more that I need. Here's my notebook paper. Here's my grid paper. See, you have different kinds that are already built in. You can add pictures here. So. Um, just the FYI. So once you're done, you would go here. Now, the great thing is that this locks it for your students. So they cannot, whatever you type in here, they can't move at all. Only, But since this is my master copy, um, I can go ahead and, and move it as, at my leisure. Now, here I could add text. I can add a link. I can add my voice, which is great for the students that need that additional support or instruction. I can go here and again make it bigger if needed. If not, you know, whatever whatever you feel like it meets your needs. Now here, the students are also able to write on it. They're actually able to highlight if necessary. Maybe you have a PDF that you want to do. So maybe on this side you can do their article, and then here you could you could they could go ahead and put their um their thoughts here. You know, I believe that. And then you can even um, leave some instructions here for them. Record your own voice right here. And please write your name and use the sentence sim. It saves it. And here they go. And so the students on their copy would have this version right here. Another thing that you could do is um, where it says that if you want to embed a link, you just go here and find the URL, uh, either YouTube or Vimeo and it would link it to them as well. It won't embed it just like this, but it's a little niche that you can do to work around from work around this. It's just adding that link there. It won't actually, but it won't um, embed it. You can even add questions right here, A, B, C, D, um, add grades for the points. So if they needed to fill out page nine, 
you can even assign like they had to correct A, B, C, or they had to do a fill in the blank. Excuse me. They had to do a fill in the blank question. You can do that as well. Um, so I would do something like this and it says here, uh, please make sure please. And I would add the acceptable answer is they have to spell the word. Um, let's say I would do the class kick for giraffe. And so they would press the word, they would press it and then they would have to type in the word giraffe and they have to spell it in this, um, this specific that only that specific word or maybe i can add a couple of options like maybe if they wanted to type it with the capital g instead of a little g they could so here are your additional options there and you can grade it right here very easily and of course the students won't be able to move your recordings or move it all over the place only um only you can because it's a master after that Go ahead and at, once everything's to your liking, you can make it private just for your students or you can share it so that other colleagues can view it um, again. And what the amazing part is, is let's say I just want to add in these pages like we're doing the first day of school and I don't want them to see these pages yet. So I could just delete them until I'm, I'm ready. And throughout the year, I can just upload PDF by PDF. And it'll automatically refresh it for the students. So it, it's in real time. So I can actually see the students working in real time. I can click on their name. So for example, here's my summer school kids. And here's their roster. Now they, I can assign them grades. I can let them help each other if needed. I can hide assignments from them if they're not, if I know they're not ready yet. And this is very important, locking it. So for the pro feature, you can actually have kids log in with your Google Classroom and it'll save it like a portfolio for them. But if you are, have the free version, you would go to the rosters. Um, you would go ahead and manually do it yourself or you can import a, a list uh, from an existing list that you have. So I could do um, here, here's the students that I have right here. And if you notice, if the students spell their name, even though this is Idalia, but if she spent this person has Idalia and Idalia Hernandez. So what could happen is that they um, duplicate their own portfolio, their own uh, notebook. So what you want to do is go ahead and do it for them. Just type, make sure that they type in their first and last name always. Go back to your um, assignment that you want and lock it. So for example, I could go ahead and click here and see, I make sure that I, this is the name that I want Allison, I want Brisa, I want them with their first name only, first and last name only. So once I double check, I go to my assignments, I go here, and then I would go to lock. So for my demo class, I want to lock it so not no new students can join. I can assign it to them through with the, with the class code. So once I can give students this link, And it'll automatically have the code in them, just like a Nearpod, similar to that. And they just have to write their name, of course, making sure that they write it the way that you assign them, assign it to be. Or if you have the pro feature, go ahead and they would just do login with Google so it can be saved. And I really hope that this helps clarify any questions. I know those digital notebooks are great, um, but I found issues having to assign them with Google Slides just because I didn't want to pay the additional feature uh, to do an add-in slide every time I signed it. Um, and I also don't like how Google Slides doesn't allow you to record with ease or the students and they have to also purchase add-ons. Um, another thing to consider is that ClassKeys is very friendly with students who are using tablets or phones to access the lessons. Um, and um, additional plus, you can see what they're doing in real time. Grade them as easily as you can. Um, you can even provide stickers as needed. You can upload GIFs. You can upload your voice again, um, upload any images, any other additional PDFs or graphic organizers. Um, I really hope and that you um, consider ClassKick for, as your new go-to for virtual learning.